Johnny Davis, who had a career night. Corey Kispert, a deep three. Daniel Gafford skying for the offensive rebound and a nice fadeaway. Next night, having that perfect night in Charlotte. He is a guy that a lot of teams need because I'm, I, I don't see this role. Harrell when he was here with the Wizards, but since he left, and then you can throw Thomas Bryant in that mix. But since those two guys are not here, who's been that guy that's been emotional out there leading? Kick out to Anthony Gill. Gill attacks the basket. Gafford cleans up. And right there, points Chris Miller, and that's where the potential comes in. As you see upstairs to the landlord from George. Had to get here on the train. Plane, train, and automobile. Remember that movie? I do. Good one. So I know you be OGs. I'm, I'm the oldest of the two OGs. Well, okay, so I'm going on 50. That's <laughs> yeah, I'm going on 60. I get it. <laughs> Gaffer, break it. Statement now, like, hey, this is what I do. This is why I'm starting. And you can see his energy level right now on, a, on another level, pushing guys to push you. And you got to love it. I've been there before. Well, I appreciate Daniel Gafford closing out you know, this season and doing just that. Like you said, getting these extended minutes as they're close. Young with a kick out to DeJounte Murray. And right here, good Jordan good one. You want to push the pace. Like the drag action right here. Something quick. And that was quick. Nice hook shot there by Daniel Gaff. Love what I'm seeing with that middle pick and roll kind of opening it up. That outside offense. The last game here in Atlanta was March 28th for Daniel Gaff. She sent here with Jay Huff coming in for Anthony Gill. Off in that first half, 13 minutes, 4 for 4 from the field with 10 points. We'll be following Wizards basketball for Wizards Post Game Live about Bradley Beal's impact he's had in the AAU community and some of the players that played for his organization namely Jordan Goodwin you see with the ball here going upstairs to Daniel Gafford well his mom he did not want to actually take that photo with Bradley Beal as Jay Huff gets the block because he wanted to compete and I give him a lot of credit he was young he didn't know no better played Bradley Beal and he beat him six to one hey listen and it's definitely carried over into his adult age when you talk about his competitive NBA contract. You know, you could just look around the NBA right now to see the impact that Bradley Beal's AAU team has had in the league, and we've joked several. Meanwhile, the story here in the third quarter has been John Collins. 12 of his 21 points have come here in the frame, and Daniel oh Gafford God. once again disturbing <laughs> the peace. Having to scratch and claw your way into the playoffs, and this firing the coach. Midway through season. I mean that is a chilling tail. You know, talking to members of the Atlanta Hawks today They said the reason why they hired Quinn Snyder this season is to use it as an evaluation But still with the caveat